channel today's video is going to be a get ready with me i've been having oh. why do i always do this with my hands seriously i've been having so many ideas for you guys and i've been thinking about this blue in my head for like days now and i wanted to create a look surrounding it but i also wanted to do something very very simple that anybody can do a beginner or a pro because it doesn't have that many techniques that you would need it's just very very simple and you're only using a few colors but yeah I was kind of feeling down today and I wasn't gonna let that bring me down because when I feel down I want to play with makeup because makeup makes me happy I know that's kind of like weird to say but it does and um, a lot of the times like communicating with you guys and getting your comments and talking to you guys always brings my day up I don't know what it is about it but it just always brightens my day and it was really really beautiful outside so I didn't want to let anything bring me down and yeah just basically you guys my YouTube my Instagram and everything that I'm passionate about with makeup always brings my day up and yeah I wanted to share that with you guys and also wanted to say thank you guys I appreciate every single one of you I know I don't have that many subscribers the subscribers that I do have I really appreciate you guys and just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart I really do appreciate every single one of you and I love you guys and thank you so much for supporting me and yeah now that I got that out let's just jump right into this tutorial thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this eye look and always leave your comments down for future videos and I think that's basically everything that I had to tell you guys today thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video Bye guys. So starting off, I'm just using my MAC strobe cream to prep my face and then I'm going to go in with NARS Sheer Glow and Stromboli. It's a little bit dark for me, but I wanted to use the sample that I got, so I'm just placing that all over my skin. And I do love the way the coverage is on this foundation, so yes, that's why I'm using it. After that, I'm going in with my Kevin Acoin SX06 and I'm going to highlight underneath my eyes and sorry guys and I just really love this stuff because it brightens so much and the consistency is so nice you only need a little bit and it just works so so well so yeah love this stuff and that's what I'm using to highlight next I'm gonna go in with my setting powder and this is MAC emphasize I just love the way it brings out the brightness under the eye next I am just priming my eyes with MAC's painterly paint pot and then I'm going in with this MAC eyeshadow pencil um, I used it so like much and I've had it for so long I don't even have the name on it but I'm just going to use that to place on my eyes to prime then to just give a little bit of color I'm going in with MAC hoax and I'm just going to place that in my crease as my transition color and like I said just to give a little bit more color and depth in the crease After that's placed to my liking, I'm going to go in, I grab this, um, you will see in the clip coming up, it's a MAC pigment in soft wash gray and it's similar to the, well it's like exactly the same as the that MAC pencil um, and I'm going to place that over top to give more pigmentation to the lid. Then of course line my eyes with L'Oreal Voluminous um, Intense Liner. And then I'm just going to buff it out and smoke it out as much as possible. And I do this a couple of times. You have to go back and forth. Um, this is really, really simple. I didn't make it too like complicated. I wanted something really, really simple and then just a little bit of smokiness. So I'm just placing any black eyeshadow with um, an angled brush. And then, of course, like I said, I just smoke it out and I do that on both eyes. As you will see, I'm like smoking it out. And then I go back in with my liner to darken up the line um, closest to the lash line. And then I grab an e.l.f. Um, this is an e.l.f. brush and I'm just going to smudge and smoke out and blend as much as possible. And then like I said, I just go back in with my liner and deepen that blackness up. And then I go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara. After I prep my eyes for falsies, I'm just going to go in on the lower lash line and smoke out that black color and just give a little bit more depth because I want its eyes to look somewhat exotic. 
Then I am just grabbing my infallible eyeshadow and ice latte. This is like the best color to use in your inner tear duct. And then I am bronzing my face with NYX Deep Tan. And I love the way it just deepens up the face. And of course, I always do the outer portion of my face because I do have a round face. So I wanted to give depth and look, make it look a little bit more slimmer. After I do that, I am just going to grab Sun and Moon by MAC and I'm going to place that on the apples of my cheek and blending it back into the NYX Deep Tan Bronzer. Then I'm using um, Becca Opal. I forgot how much I love this stuff. It's insane, but I love it. It's like the greatest highlighter ever. It's just so pretty, illuminating, and glowy. So I go ahead and highlight all the high points of my face. To finish off the look, I am just using NYX Canes and Fortune Cookie to gloss up my lips. But that's everything for the look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. To where I think I should arrive We are so vacant in the dark Take me now so I can wake up And drift away Thank you guys for always competing so much. So just thank you guys and thanks for always making my day better.